My name is Matt Ozalis. I'm an engineer at Keysight, and today I'm going to introduce the concept of the ADS data link. This is a capability that enables easy data transfer between Keysight ADS and programming tools like Python. This is the first of three videos which overview the ADS data link. This video will cover the basics, and then in later videos, I'll show you how to use this platform to do things like generate advanced plots or connect to instruments, which are just two examples of the types of things that you can do with this capability. As you'll see, the data link platform really opens up a tremendous amount of potential in the simulation tool, and you can take advantage of it even if you don't know Python. In ADS, Data Display is a great tool for visualizing basic simulation results. But sometimes there's a need to do a higher degree of data processing, and for those cases it can be helpful to move to a programming environment. Basically, what I'm going to show today is a slick way to pass data back and forth between ADS and Python, so that ADS can call a Python script to do some data operation, and then get back the result to plot or use in a later simulation. And the really great thing is, this can all happen behind the scenes. So in other words, once it's set up, you don't have to leave the ADS environment. The data processing can all happen in the background. If you're not familiar with Python, it is a very easy to use programming environment, which has a large amount of engineering and scientific functionality. Best of all, it's open source, meaning the program is free, and you can look at any part of the code. So if you need a particular function, chances are someone's already written it, and you can just go and download the library and use it. There are a ton of resources out there which can help you get started. For example, here's a video series on Python for test and measurement. These videos give a great concise overview of the Python programming environment for hardware engineers. So how do you get Python? There are lots of packages, but if you're an engineer, I think there's one choice that's just superior, and that's called Anaconda. The reason I like Anaconda so much is that it comes preloaded with just about every scientific package you'll ever need, and the ones it doesn't have are really easy to install. It also includes a great interactive development environment called Spider, which makes it easy to write scripts and see data in real time. You can install Anaconda at the link shown here. It's completely free. Now let's talk about how to link ADS to Python. The functions that I'm going to provide will make the data transfer really easy. For Python, these functions come in a file that can be included in your program. And in ADS, the functions are bundled into an AEL file, which will need to be loaded up upon startup. I've created a six minute video that will walk you through the data link setup, so if you haven't watched this already, it's worth pausing this video and walking through the setup yourself. Okay, I've already loaded the Python utility functions in ADS, and I've installed Anaconda. Now I'm going to demonstrate how the data transfer actually works. First, I'll send some data from ADS over to Python. In ADS, the function to do that is called send data to Python with underscore characters. And then you need to provide the directory where you want to send the data. Then just put the data that you want to the end of this function, separated by commas. And you can send as much data as you want. You can just tack on more variables. And each variable it can be numerical, can be string data or complex data, can also be a multidimensional array or a swept matrix. The function simply outputs a file into the specified directory, and then any Python script in that directory can easily access it. Now let's open up Python using the Spider app. You can find that in the Windows Start menu under Anaconda. In Spider, you'll see a few different windows which are customizable using view panes. The windows I use are the editor window, which shows the script that I'm working on that's on the left of my screen. Then there's the variable explorer on the top right. This allows you to see the value of any variable or array in your program. This is really useful for working with data that's passed over from ADS. And finally, on the bottom right, there's a console window it's kind of the Python command line. So now I'll make a simple script. Maybe I'll say a equals 10 and then print a. And I can run this script by clicking on the green play button. When I do, the variable a is now shown in the variable explorer and the output is printed to the console. I mentioned that Anaconda comes with lots of scientific packages. To import a library, I can just type import and one of the most common ones is called numpy and since that's too long to spell, I can also type import numpy as np. Then to use a function in numpy, I would just type np dot then the function. For example, I can do b equals np dot sign of a, which will call the sign function from the numpy library. Along with the workspace, I'll provide a library of Python functions which facilitate data transfer with ADS. They're in a file called ads.py. To keep things simple, as long as you put this file in the same directory as the Python script you're working on, you can access all of these functions by simply typing import ADS at the top of your Python script. 
Remember that data that I exported from ADS earlier? To access that, all I have to do is type d, s equals ads.createPython ADS channel. In other words, Python will separately import numerical data and strings from ADS, hence the d and s variables for data and strings. If you've exported multiple data items, they'll be grouped into these two variables when they come in. When I run the script, now the data that was sent from ADS shows up in the variable explorer. Here in Python, it's really easy to manipulate this type of data. For example, I can split part of an array into a new variable, or I can stack an array, or basically do anything I want with the imported data. For this demonstration, I'll just run the ADS data through the sign function. Now, how can I get the result back to ADS? That's easy. There's a function in the ADS library which will send the data back to ADS called send to ADS. I enter the data that I want to send followed by a file name and if I want to overwrite the file I can pass in the value 1 otherwise the data is just appended to the file. Later if I want to send more data I simply call this function again and append more data to this file. So I'll run the script and then when it's done I'll switch back over to ADS. In ADS to get the data back I can use a function called get data from Python and then just type in the path for the CSV file. The data comes back to ADS in numerical format, but I can also send strings or mixed data back from Python. The return variable is always indexed as row column. Well, now comes the fun part. Once the Python script is built to work with ADS data using the technique I just showed, it's possible to modify it so that the data transfer and function call are done by ADS in one step. To do that, I'll go back over to Spider and just add one line to the very end of my script, ADS.closePythonADS channel manually close a data connection after the script has run. Now I can invoke this function directly from ADS and the data transfer will just happen behind the scenes. In other words, ADS will send out data, run the Python script, and collect data back all from a single command. In ADS that magic command is call Python script IO and then I'll specify the directory, the Python script name, and I'll pass in the data separated by commas. The number of variables in data format is flexible and it can vary depending on the function. That's all I need to do. The function runs and what I get back is the processed data from Python. In this case, it's the input data sent through the sign function. But this just as easily could be any complex, mathematically intensive data operation. I didn't have to leave ADS. This is run through a simple equation. Let's go back to Python so that I can explain a little bit more about what happens when ADS invokes a Python script using the function I just showed you. So here's the Python program. The way to look at this is that the ADS function creates a data channel between the tools, and then the data transfer just happens automatically. So the data I passed into that ADS function, that data just comes into Python through the create Python ADS channel command. Along the way, any place where the function send to ADS is used, this data now automatically returns back to ADS. It comes back as the output of the ADS equation. In other words, a separate CSV file and manual data import is no longer needed or used. The data return just happens automatically. And finally, the data channel between ADS and Python needs to be explicitly closed so that ADS knows that the data transfer on the Python side is complete. That's done using close Python ADS channel, which should always be the last line of your script. So this function can be run over here in Spider, or it can be controlled and run by ADS. Now, let's say my Python script had a bug. Maybe I forgot to call np in the numpy sign function. I just typed sign. If I run this, it will bring up an error. Now, in ADS, if I tried to run the script through my equation, instead of getting the data back, I get the actual error message from Python as the output. So it's easy to go back and troubleshoot problems with your Python script. To summarize, in Python you can develop a function which can be run entirely from ADS. To do that, first you need to import the ADS library, which is a file that you can put in your working directory. Next, open a data channel between ADS and Python, then do whatever data processing you want in Python. At any point along the way, you can send data back to ADS, and when you're done, just close the Python ADS data channel. If you do this, it'll be possible to call this script from ADS using call Python script IO, and have the data transfer happen automatically. In the next couple of videos, I'll show you the power that this capability has to enable things like 3D plots from ADS, or measurement equipment control, and data capture right out of ADS. What I've really demonstrated is a concept of a data link, which is a way to facilitate data transfer between Keysight ADS and a third-party data tool. I made the choice to use Python here, but the functions can be modified to work with other data processing tools as well. I've made all of these functions open source, so you're free to view and modify them however you'd like. 
For more information and to download the workspace which contains all of the functions that I use today, visit this page on the Keysight Knowledge Center.